When you tell your family you're moving to Boston, they're probably going to picture you living in a neighborhood that looks like Back Bay. And there are many good reasons for you to move to this neighborhood. In Back Bay, you've got beautiful brownstones with bay windows, and you get to admire these every time you go for a walk along the sidewalks on these tree-lined streets. A lot of thought went into the planning of Back Bay, hence the street layout and Commonwealth Avenue right in the middle of the neighborhood. When you live in Back Bay, you're close to high-end stores and fancy restaurants on Newberry Street and Boylston Street. Probably all of your shopping needs will be just steps away when you live in the Back Bay. Additionally, living in Back Bay, you have easy access to the Charles River Esplanade, which is the perfect way to enjoy the end of a long day, very peaceful and scenic walk in the middle of a busy and bustling city. In Back Bay, you're close to multiple tea stations along the Green Line, so if you're working anywhere along this line, it'll be an easy commute. The Orange Line also runs along the border of the Back Bay and the South End, so depending on where you live in Back Bay, you might also have easy access to this line. If you're working at the John Hancock Tower, you will be able to easily commute from the Back Bay. Furthermore, depending on what side of the Back Bay you live on, you will be close to the Boston Common, but really it's not too far to get to no matter where you live in this neighborhood. Now, living in Back Bay does have a fair amount of considerations to go along with all of its pros and some things that you might want to know before you actually do move there. And the first has to be the price. Back Bay is one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the city of Boston. Even though you're paying more, you're not always getting more. These are older homes. They were built a long time ago. Therefore, you're not necessarily guaranteed laundry facilities in your unit. You're not guaranteed a dishwasher. So just make sure to do your own research before moving in. Like the other older neighborhoods, it can be difficult to find a parking spot in Back Bay. However, parking is free for residents and it's possible to find an apartment with a parking space, although usually you are going to end up paying more in rent for that space. You probably are gonna wanna leave the area for nightlife or after dinner activities, but those activities are close even though you will likely need to leave the neighborhood. And this aspect of Back Bay might even be a pro depending on your lifestyle. Speaking of dinner, there are lots of great restaurant and bars to choose from in Back Bay, but they tend to be on the fancier side. So if dive bars are your thing, the Back Bay isn't necessarily going to scratch that itch. In terms of grocery stores, the Back Bay has DeLuca's Market in the middle of the neighborhood as well as a more traditional star market across from the Prudential Center. And if you're feeling a little bit fancier, you can just walk right over to the Trader Joe's. I mentioned that Back Bay is one of the more pricey places to live, and that's evident in the rent. The one bedrooms here, you're gonna need to budget about $3,600, $3,700 in two bedrooms. The data that I found is saying that the current median price is $5,600. That is even higher than what I've seen Based on my research, when I moved to the area, I was thinking more around the 45, 4,600 range. Uh, but again, I, I would say that unless you got a great job, you might need to have a roommate if you have your heart set on living in the back bay. Now the type of people that live there, just due to the price, it's not the go-to spot for recent college graduates. But if you are a young professional, this is not a bad spot to be. Although it does tend to be a slightly older crowd than recent college graduates. And again, that's just generally speaking. So this concludes my video about the Back Bay. Please let me know in the comments what features of the neighborhood I missed. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see videos similar to this one.